So, we, first of all, this lake's kind of vaguely in the way, but I guess that's all right. We'll go diagonal. That might cut in a little weirdly there, but we'll just redo it later. You just have to somehow find your way to the rest of our track. Which is on the other side of this lake. Um, let's try to avoid going over the uranium. We don't want to give our train drivers cancer, even though they're they're robots. We'll get robot cancer. Now this is the right hand track. So we need to make sure. That's too far. Still in I think this one. Right hand to right hand. I'm going to use the shift tool here. Where am I? Okay, that's actually a few more trees than I thought. I'm going to grenade the next group here. Die. So I want the track to end up one, two, three, four. Where there's more goddamn trees! Death! Okay. And what would look best? Something like that. It's hard to figure out what the, uh, the accurate corner is. It doesn't actually matter that the spacing is consistent even in the corners, but I want it to look good, goddammit. Uh, that's not quite right. Sometimes it's about aesthetics. Although my aesthetics are a little different. Like, I like... I like the crazy chaotic stuff. You know what? Fuck it. We're just going to eyeball it, this one. And it's going to be... A little uneven here. Tough cookies. That's a long ass train route. Bam! Okay. We're gonna need a few signals along the way just to make sure that like one signal here doesn't block for that entire duration. Like we don't need to make sightings or anything, but what I should do is plop down a train. And you know what? We'll give it the uh, we'll give it its car at the same time. You. It does me that you can't name the trains. You can only look at, like, what their schedule is to try to figure out who's supposed to be what. I have no idea where I left my car, although we can look at that on the map. I just want to grab some coal here so that I can fuel this train up. Boop. Okay. Um, just for the sake of whatever, I'm going to back up a little and make sure you are at copper pickup inventory full okay. excellent so you're just gonna stay there all right let's power this bad boy up So we got a little bit of stuff. I'm going to go into manual mode here. Because what I want to do, actually, before I do this, I want to make sure to set a rail signal here and here, just to deal with a little bit of queuing. That's going to be good enough. And then here, every now and again, I'll just drop a little rail signal. There. 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 I mean, once we get T-junctions in here, it's hard to click on the move. There we are. There, that's plenty. Okay, so now you're actually going to circuit copper drop off, um, inventory empty, 
or uh, time passed. And go. Choo choo! Uh, what have I done? Why did you not go straight through this? Why are you trying to turn around? I'm on the right side, right? Yeah. Oh shit, I see it. I see it. It's not connected right here. There we go. So he had to go through this loop so that he could go down here and reach it. Let's try that one more time. And go. Now you can go straight through. Hooray! Oh, I love this. I'm going to spend my entire life just standing here watching the trains go by. And over here, you're waiting till empty or 30 seconds have passed. Which seems fine-ish. Although, this might be a better case for... Um, or... Um, rather, inactivity. So we're going to trash that. But you are empty now. Bail! Alright, dude, where's my car? Oh, right over there. So... Circuit production has started. What do we want to do next? We either need more copper production or probably build up the actual circuit production. Well, at some point we got to pick up the green circuits and put them on our network here. So that's probably the next step. Let me pick up a few more circuits over here. Like that. Go. That's gonna be good and plenty. My car is somewhere over here. There it is. I could do the other side of this. I mean, I may as well sort of get it working, I guess. Oh, did I just have this ghosted? Yeah, I did. So, let's do that. And I just realized that electrical pole is in the wrong place then. Hmm, you don't need to exist. You don't need to exist. You're gonna be fine. Since we have to move this maybe further back. You know what? It's okay. I'm just gonna do this. Do that. This is not gonna be balanced, but this is not um obviously this is not gonna be enough copper ore for the entire game. So and what's gonna happen over here is we're eventually gonna invert the flow of these things because of where things are gonna get dropped off. To this yeah, so this is super temporary. Super temporary. I'm gonna get more spaghetti-ish. You guys like spaghetti, right? Oops. Very belt moved me too far. There you go. Again, these steel furnaces won't even all be able to work, not being fed by a yellow. They're fine. Like the steel furnace position is fine. It's the inputs and everything. Super temporary. But this will go and increase our copper plate output, which is going to be good because we are going to need more of them. So I'm going to eat the rest of these small electric poles here and here. Voila. 
both sides of this are going. We're still splitting half of it into our regular bus, but half of it is going to get loaded into our train over here. Just go ahead and drop off what you got to the other circuit thing. Wait for the boxes to fill up, and then we'll get back to you. Okay. Now we go back to the circuit production side. It is very scary to drive at night, especially when there are killer trees about. Oh, no! I didn't see the forest. Can I grenade while I'm in the car? Problem solved. Uh, I guess we'll just follow the train tracks, which should probably be better lit. I'm gonna smack by the train on this way back. Alright, there we go. Stupid killer forest of doom. Hello, train. Alright, it's a little further. Excellent. So, we can confirm red circuit production is a thing that is happening. Green circuit production is also a thing that is happening. Needs to be scaled up, needs to be loaded onto a train. You are getting plenty of copper, you've got plenty of iron. Well, you, you were just now getting copper down here, but it's starting to flow. So that's why the green circuit production wasn't going. But now you should be getting relatively regular deliveries of both. Can you attach your car to the track itself? Oh, that's cool! No! I mean, I have to have a, one of those, like, utility vehicles that train companies use that you can drop on, jump onto the, the track, and then, like, have the signals actually treat you as a train so that you don't get squooshed. That would actually be really awesome. Really awesome, but no. As far as I know, you can't attach your train to the track. There you go, more deliveries. Swell. Okay, so the backlog is starting to exist over here. Signaling is working. Oh, we need um, another signal here, because this is one giant piece of track. And we could have a little hint that it's safe to go. I mean, there should be an actual normal signal on the output of this... Uh, this T-junction, there should be, there'll be one there later on. There'll be one here as well. There you go, so that's a little bit of a split. We might want to put some more in there just so that the trains don't have to wait quite so long to leave. But they're not jamming each other up, just slightly delayed. <laughs> so we're going to do this for another half an hour or so. Then we are going to just switch over to the multiplayer with subscribers, which is going to be Dota 2 today. I want to play Crystal Maiden. Which sounds like it should be some sort of, um, power rock band. I need more assemblers. I'm gonna be short. Two. Do I have the material for two? Excellent. Also, do I have... I need more blue assemblers. Or blue inserters. Bam. Copy. Copy. Lovely. So you're good there. Yeah, this is going to go this way. True. And this will continue. For now, we just need the one and the one. That's going to be okay. Oops. 
good. And then outputs. And then overkill of power here, but that's okay. Yeah, you can see the uh, the copper. Oh, it's actually okay. There's nothing flowing in. I thought it was a, a flow through issue with the yellow things, but no. Now it's just a question of getting enough copper in here regularly. It's funny, like how starting off in Factorio, you need so little copper, and then when you start to get into bulk circuit production, you can never have enough copper. Like I need, I need a billion. I how much copper do I need? A billion. That's how much. So what I'm curious about is, can I stick in a little station here to pick in, pick up the green circuits? Is that a thing I can make work? So you'll need to take off and connect over here. A little further over. Turns into sort of a wonky intersection, but not one that doesn't work actually. Hmm. Hmm. I could take off a little sooner. I'm just worried anything that comes up and down this T junction might have a hard time getting the green circuits. Run that way. It's a little close to where we might want to run some more things, but. And then. load those on there. But yeah, the question is, what's the most reasonable way? Oh, that works. Apparently I can do what I want. I can do anything I want. Shut up, you're not the boss of me. And I heard the tip sound. I'll have to go and check that in a second. Yeah, that'll work. We did! Oh, I missed a tip earlier from Wymy. Terribly sorry, Wymy. Oh, that's when we were having the depression talk. He said, hashtag fight depression. Yes, absolutely. And Yukofin, thank you very much. I uh, just mix copper coils with circuits. Oh, fuck. Wait. Oh! Because I have too many of these. Is it just the one? Oh, it's just the one. Okay. <sighs> I thought we had a huge problem. Good eye. Thank you very much, Hugo Finn. And thank you for your support in, in, in multiple different ways. I think I'm actually going to load from the opposite side over here. Yeah, this is going to work. I need more blues. I got the blues. Uh, no, I don't. I got this over here. They just went to the wrong slot. For now, we'll figure out something else later on. Oh, Big C Panda! Hey, thank you very much! Good to see you again. Afternoon, Quill. Just topping off your whiskey fun. Single malt Glenfiddich isn't exactly cheap! <laughs> Cheers! Well, thank you very much, Big C Panda. I actually have a very, very nice uh, whiskey I'm going to be bringing out when we uh, when it's time to play the dotes, uh, which is just in a few minutes. Um, it was a birthday present from my parents, so that's nice. And that, you know, whiskey is, is, is good for playing MOBAs. You get better at them or something or at least you get better at trash talking people as you get surlier and surlier pretty sure that's how things work all right i don't know if this is going to be fully scalable later on when we go and do this we may have to go and and reformat things but for now that's going to be that not that we have anywhere to bring the green circuits to right now the idea is feed some up oh shit there's some more don't die there's some more Fucking 
coils that got in there. Although they might eventually have gotten picked up and loaded in here. May not have been the end of the world. We don't have any other coils, right? That was it. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Okay, good. And right now, other than the slightly not enough copper plates, our production line's pretty okay. When this gets turned to red, then we'll have more than enough for this, but as is, it's a little shy. Why is the other one getting... Why does the other one not have a shortage of copper? But this one does. I mean, they're fully, it's full density on both sides. Okay, no, the other one's going to get a shortage too. Must have just been the way various things were loading or timed out or something. They were going to be okay. All right. Uh, no, turning doesn't slow down the goods anymore. That used to be true, but it's not anymore. Turning has no effect on speed whatsoever. All right, if we, as a test... See? Exactly the same. There's not a gap that happens on one side. I mean, the initial little bit is actually not even out of sync in there. See? I don't think it's the case. It's hard to tell because it's not fully saturated here. But I'm pretty sure that's something that got changed many, many a patch ago. Yeah. There's a slight delay, at, like, when you first put it down, just because there's a slight length difference, but the speed's exactly the same. Which isn't physically reasonable, but turned out to be more interesting for the game balance, so that's why they did it that way. Alright, do I expand the red circuit production? I suppose so. And figure out where the hell I'm going to empty these. Um, probably I'm actually going to flow these in the opposite direction. And pick them up over here. That's probably much more reasonable. Than trying to stuff another goddamn train station in here. Although it wouldn't be impossible, but I don't think it would be particularly fun. Yeah, I know the belt's not fast enough for all the greens, but that's, um, we're not, we're not... I could handcraft some red, I suppose, but I had refused to automate production of red transport belts, and honestly, transport belts aren't something you want to handcraft. It takes way too goddamn long to do that. There's no reason I couldn't have set up my red production factory at this point, though. We've got all the materials we need. So you need to be changed. You need to become a chain signal. And then we need a regular outputs these ways. Excellent. And an output over here. And then we can go and put down all the intermediary little train chain signals here. You, you, you. I think I got them all. At some point, I'm going to activate my logistics network, and I'm going to, like, 30 things complain about missing bits. Oh, there you go. Things are toggling as other trains are moving through different areas. Looks very Christmassy now. I'm not just grenading all these things. What's wrong with me? Getting soft. <laughs> 